Okay, so this is a case. Um, you don't. Oh, must I keep it then? This is a case of a of an infected hand, um, and it illustrates a couple of points. So, from an undergraduate point of view, I think I have mentioned to you in a previous tutorial that there are five hand infections. There's a paronychia, which involves the uh, the nail fold. There's a felon or pulp space abscess, which involves the uh, the pulp can be this pulp and mostly that pulp or that pulp. Um, then there's a web space abscess, which I'll get onto in a second. Then there's the flexor sheath infection. And then there is the uh, deep mid palm infection, deep in the mid palm between the flexor tendons and the intrinsic muscles or interossei of the hand. So if we look at this, this case, it's clearly not a paronychia, clearly not a felon, um, and it's not a flexor sheath infection. The question is, is it a web space abscess or is it a deep mid palm infection? The cardinal sign of a, of a web space abscess is splaying of the fingers. The fingers are pushed apart by the abscess, which normally occurs more distal um, between the metacarpal heads. So I think that this is in fact a mid-palm abscess, uh, and it uh, occurs in the mid-palm, and it typically causes a loss of the normal concavity of the hand, uh, like that. So you get a, it goes from a concavity to flat or even a convexity. Um, turn over for me, sir. Turn over the hand. I think what's important to appreciate with these patients is the massive swelling dorsally. But don't be, uh, don't be um, uh, misdirected. This is, this is not where the infection is. This is just where the swelling occurs due to the fact that the skin in this area is loose and the swelling can occur. Turn back again. Turn back. So if you look here, there's no real splaying of the fingers. Uh, the, the, the abscess is already starting to drain spontaneously uh, in this area. And I think it's coming from the mid palmar space, which is a layer deep to the flexor tendons. Very difficult dissection. The problem is that there's a septum that goes from the middle finger to the skin. So if you get onto the wrong side of the septum on the middle finger, there's no abscess there. The abscess might be there, or the abscess might be this side and not that side. So you need to follow this abscess cavity and see which way it goes. Does it go towards the index finger or down towards the ring finger? And, and, and that'll help you decide how to get in there. But obviously the exposure is very difficult. You need to get past the neurovascular bundles, you need to get past the flexor tendons, the lumbrical muscles, before you get to this abscess. So it can be a very difficult dissection and needs to be done in a bloodless field under adequate an uh, anesthesia, which in this case will probably be a, uh, a Beer's block or a brachial block or a general anesthetic.